Hey y'all. So before I show you this video, <laughs> I just wanted to say first and foremost, we are okay. We did receive a lot of damages to the property, to the farm, but thankfully we still have our home and each other. So that's what's important. Um, but the video I'm gonna show you is just all the videos I've taken um, since before the storm, like, you know, the day before the storm come and then thereafter. So it's a lot, but um, I basically also, which I know a lot of people checked on us, but I also wanted to have a way to where we can always go back and, you know, watch this or Stetson can show, you know, his children or grandchildren, you know, this is the flood of 24, um, something that has just been totally catastrophic for a lot of folks. Um, so anyways, without further ado, I just want to tell you like we are okay. We're good. It's just going to take some time and money <laughs> for cleanup. Um, so anyways, appreciate you being here. Appreciate you watching the video, but here we go. This is our Hurricane Helene damage. Y'all, I think we might have prayed a little too hard for rain. Uh, it is September the 26th and we're getting, you know, stuff off the hurricane. Hurricane Helena, I think. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, anyways, since, let's see, today's Thursday. So, since Tuesday, which we didn't realize it was going to start that early. Um, but since Tuesday, we have gotten like eight and a half inches of rain. And the hurricane's not even got here yet. Um, with that. It could be upwards of 10 inches. We're obviously hoping for less. Um, and that's going to be coming tonight and then into tomorrow till mid-afternoon. So, and another concerning thing we're worried about is high winds. Um, we're supposed to have winds up to, I want to think, 40, 50, 60 miles an hour. We've had a 22 mile an hour gust already today. But um, the wind's kind of coming out of the east doesn't usually do that so um yeah so lord knows we needed rain but we're really making up up for it in just a few days which is never good and we're our ground like our dirt you know where we have been so dry the dirt's so I compacted i kind of was working on the road back here but um where our dirt like where we were so dry our dirt is so compacted so when we've had little bits of rain, it's only penetrated maybe, you know, this much of the ground. So with this, we're really worried guess, about guess landslides. What, found in the, in the what? A salamander. A salamander? It has flown here. Oh. My, that's my favorite pond. Oh, okay. Yeah, anyways, we're worried about the soil erosion and landslides, hopefully. I don't know. Yeah, so we're getting the rain now. So in front of us, there's a big, it's not really a limb, but it's not really a tree. It's just a log, I guess. But you can see how the creek slant, and it has been a lot higher than this. It's went down some today. We've had rain all day, but it's not been heavy, heavy. Um, but the creek's flowing really good, so just checking out the damage and then we'll have to come back out and reassess tomorrow after things have hopefully stopped. Lots of water. So clean this out a little bit. 
is what I was concerned about. We've had this happen one time before. Um, so this, you know, is, let me zoom it out, is generally all field. Um, but then it kind of becomes just an extension of the creek. And it kind of goes down through here and then just, oh man. Uh, gotta help the cutter a bunch of junk. There's a pipe right here. I'll try to clean it out. I have a bunch of junk that's washed up. Uh, washed down rather, but you can't really tell it. But here's the pipe to kind of move this tree log, whatever you want to call it. But it's starting to go down a little bit. Uh, there you can see it. Well, there's a little tornado or it's pulling and then it kind of lets up a little bit. He's thinking this is in the pipe and causing part of the problem. Sadson, Sadson, hold on, baby. Well, y'all, this is not a video I want to make or really share, but we have received some immense damage um, from this hurricane. We're not sure of the extent of everything yet. We're just now finally getting to get out of the house and see, but it's been a really hard morning. Uh, I'll turn you around and uh, show you what I'm looking at. This. Um, this happened at about 9.45 this morning. Um, it's currently, I think, almost 2 o'clock now. Um, but in Dakota's truck is right there. And all of our equipment side by side, the hay, everything's gone. Um, it's, I don't know y'all, there's a bunch of trees down over here. We've got a lot of trees down on the property. That's all I got. here. Um, there's some major trees. You can see the root balls up. Um, this is just unbelievable. You can see different angle here. This is so hard to look at. This is 
so hard to look at. Wow. Excavator. They're okay. Really? Bust the window out of your of your truck. And the back glass is still okay in the new Holland. I think. Yeah, wow, y'all. Oh my gosh. Whew. Oh, this is, uh, could throw up, honestly. <laughs> you can see the roof. This is what you're looking at is the roof of the barn. I'm trying to get that water off the lens. Oh, look at the front. <laughs> Nothing looks hurt other than the barns they're still. It's not as bad as uh, it looks. I mean, it's still pretty terrible, but uh, we haven't got as much damage to like equipment and stuff um, as we thought there may be. So, and this truck, I don't know if I could show you in the other one, but dented um, the windshield. But other than that, it's actually okay. It's still so hard to look at, but um, it's okay. This is rough, y'all.
light pole like nothing. Um, we're so thankful the water's went down, but we've got to get these gates and put them up here, way up here to block the cows so they can't get down here because there's no fence whatsoever. Oh, okay. Well, somehow miraculously the hay ring is completely fine. Just come out of the corner up here.
well y'all the devastation to our area is just unimaginable um, we are so much more fortunate than many many people and it's so heartbreaking to see like not only around our area but um, in western North Carolina Asheville, Blowing Rock, Chimney Rock, all of those places. It is just beyond. Um, and even here, um, down a road, if you're local, called Straight Branch, is just... You can't even put it into words. And pictures don't even do it justice. I mean, video, I mean, it just does not... You just can't even imagine it. It's just... But... We are certainly very, very blessed. We still have our home, um, our new garage that we put up last year. It's still good. We were so worried about it, um, but it's supposed to withstand, I think, 140. So um, I will say a local firefighter, um, Dakota was telling me about the grain bin. Um, I think he fixed it. I think it's okay. Um, but a local firefighter was telling us it pinged on his phone that there was a 110 mile per hour gust on the mountain. And we believe it because we seen it, you know. But it has just been something that's very hard to process, like literally. I mean, we're to terms with it now, but it's still just like you cannot believe this is your reality. But like I said, we're so blessed, so fortunate. I mean, we're so thankful for what we do have and what it didn't hurt because it could have been so much worse. But, um, so we're good. It's just gonna take a long while for cleanup. But be thinking about all the ones that it affected because it was truly something I never hoped any of us ever see in a thousand years. <laughs>